Alrighty. Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Talk World with Maria and I have here with me Miss Diana Hamilton of Caffeine Radio. That's right, caffeineradio.com. So where is the Caffeine Radio? It's an internet radio station. Mm -hmm. And we got soaked into it, well actually I got pulled into it about eight years ago. <laughs> eight years ago? Yeah. Is this your passion kind of thing? Like, Actually it really wasn't at first, but then I really got into it and mm -hmm. I started having so much fun with it. It's fun. Can, it is. Yeah. It is. It's great being able to take people away from all the drama that goes on out there in the world and in their day just for that little two hours of playing old school rock and country and blues and jazz and maybe throwing in some of Kayvon's R&B here coming up pretty soon. Yeah, Kayvon, I need those MP3s, baby. Yes, Kayvon. But anyways, yes. So this is Miss Diana Hamilton. I called her sister now. So she's my oh. sister. But yeah. anyways... But anyways, I would like you to go ahead and introduce yourself and let our viewers know who you are, where you're from, what you do. Go ahead. <laughs> well, of course, everybody knows me as Dangerous Die on the CaffeineRadio.com, or they know me around the Count's Vamped or the Dive Bar is just Diane or Die. Die. I have been here 21 years, moved around the country a lot growing up because my dad would change jobs. So we've lived in we lived in Pennsylvania, we've lived in New Jersey, we've lived in Colorado, California about a dozen times. Here, um, places when I was little, I don't really remember. I think we were in Florida at one point in West Virginia. Wow. So I get to be around a lot. Half Moon Bay was my favorite place to live until here. So I really miss Half Moon Bay, California. And, of course, with the storm surges last week, mm -hmm, yeah. they canceled the Titans of Mavericks. The organizers canceled it. Yeah, you were talking about that. I was so brokenhearted because, you know, honestly, when that, when that, when that first came out, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, Jeff Clark ran the whole thing. Jeff organized it. And there was no way he was going to. And it was up to the surfers. If you wanted to go out there and hit the waves, hit them. If you didn't, you didn't have to. But now with organizers and everything else, it was just like everybody was bummed because we were looking at six-story waves. What is it? We're high as six stories, so you know, like sixty plus feet. That those would have been young. amazing. Oh really? Well, my youngest brother used to surf those waves. Oh my god! Back in the back so in the let, 90s. let me yeah let, let me ask that about the waves because uh, I kind of disagree when you posted that on Facebook. Honestly, yeah. uh, so um, so if something happened to the surfer, do they do the organizer? responsible of anything happening? I believe event? they are because now it's a paid organizer that's coming through. So it's not Jeff Clark and the guys and you're not you're not taking it at your own risk. And those waves are dangerous. I mean I've even seen videos of Jeff Clark and actually I was on the cliff I believe that day where Jeff's leash got caught up on Mushroom Rock and he was trapped there trying to get unhooked from the leash of a surfboard. Mm -hmm. My youngest brother was out there the day that the Hawaiians landed and mm -hmm. Mark Fu passed away who was one of the greatest surfers in history. There was nothing he couldn't take on. And it was just a freak accident that cost him his life out at Mavericks. That's probably the reason why they canceled it. Because they are yeah. responsible. Well, it, yeah, maybe, maybe not. But this was like years ago. This is back in the early 90s. My daughter was only like two or three years old when this happened. Mm -hmm. So it was like... Um, it, it could was, happen again. Well, it could. I mean, it happens anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I've seen, I've seen video of my youngest brother and my cousin Michael you know, in a helicopter with their surfboards jumping down into Jaws in Hawaii. Literally jumping from the helicopter to, you know, get there. I've seen, you know, some great videos. If you really want great videos of Mavericks and all the surf classics and all the, all the great tournaments, go to Powerlines.com. It's run by Eric Nelson in um, Montero, California. Eric's an old friend of the family's. Mm -hmm. We just love him to death. I do love him. Jeff Clark, if you get down there, you know, Jeff Clark owns the Mavericks Surf Shop. That's right down in Pillar Point Harbor. Mm -hmm. So it's like a lot of fun to go there and get little souvenirs and you can, you can actually get them online, too. So you can mavericks.com or mavsurfer.com, and you can actually buy what you want from Mavericks. Once I get things out of storage, Maria will see me wearing a lot of my Mavericks ski beanies and jackets oh, wow. and hoodies. Oh, wow, yeah. And, and I love, by the way, your Christmas. Uh, they're Nala ears. They're from my Nala putty cat. Oh, that is so cute. They love my Nala. Yeah. Well, uh, anyways, <laughs> we are talking about uh, you on this, um, on this episode or on this segment, and you were talking about you've been doing this radio station for eight years. Yeah, I've been on and off eight years. On and off for eight years, and yeah. you and you said that that's, that was your passion. And I also learned about uh, you earlier uh, talking about you want to be on TV too, right? Yeah, it's always part of my bucket list was to be in a you know, walk-on part in a movie or a TV show. 
So yeah, this is kind of actually kind of cool. Is, this is like, the third, like it? well, it's the third show that I've done. I did my first interview with Irox America several years ago, and it's still up on YouTube. So you can find it under I think REF Entertainment on YouTube or Irox America on YouTube. Oh, nice! That's nice. my first interview with Julie Fox, so we had fun with that. Nice. So do you have? Uh, did you have any background or uh, like, like that? Do you have any um, family member that used to be in the radio or TV? No. No, oh. No, it was just, I fell into it. Um, it to, uh, uh, we talked about this on the last show that I did with, you, with uh, Musician Loves Honey. Mm -hmm. I actually um, got a phone call late one evening from a couple of uh, friends. Mm -hmm. And you got a picture of these two. They kind of look like Laurel and Hardy. One was you know tall and skinny, the other was short and heavyweight. And these two idiots would carry the, um, a whole computer system down Casino Center across Charleston and to the studio every night, five nights a week to do their show. But apparently their sound card went out and I got this phone call. They were in a panic and they wanted to borrow my laptops. And I said, no, what I will do for you is I will bring the laptops. If you need music, I have, I have over 5,000 CDs. I mean, I've got music galore. I love music. So I packed all those up, took them to the studio. For the first couple of shows, I was like sitting there just like playing around on Facebook, get, trying to get people to tune into them. By the fourth show, I was part of the show. By the fifth show, I was the third person. So it was kind of like we had a good time with it. The numbers were great. They were killing it. I mean, these guys were awesome. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> ouch. Whatever. <laughs> it's cool. As long as we don't get no feedback going, <laughs> <laughs> you were fine. I know, we don't want to yeah. blow our ears out over the speakers. Oh no! Yeah, well, that this is the good thing about my uh, my own uh, uh, broadcasting is totally different from you guys. We don't. Yeah. I don't. We don't get those. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, we don't. We get, get that feedback. It's horrible. Yeah, we don't. But get um, <laughs> you know, so we started out, and they had, they had messed up. They had, there was a problem, and they did not come clean with it. Mm -hmm. So I I come to the show one night. I think it was on a Friday, and I was told that the show was canceled. Oh. So I packed everything that up sucks. and I took it back home. Mm -hmm. A couple of nights later, the uh, Mr. Black Tie, who was running the fashion radio at the time, he called me and says, look, why don't you come in and co-host with me Sunday night for an hour? I said, okay. So I did that. We had a great time. And then he called me two days later and says, you want your own show. We want to give you your own Ooh, spot. Oh, that's amazing. So I started off with two hours just playing around with it. And I was so nervous and so tongue-tied. I was like. My mouth was so dry. It was, like my, it was like I ate peanut butter stuck to the roof of my mouth. I'm like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I was fine with the other two because I was like the least, the least person to talk. Yeah. But now here it is. I've got to, I've got to pull the music list together. I got to do these other things. I got to prepare what I'm going to say. Um, I don't watch the news. I don't listen to the news hardly anymore because I can't believe any, anything you see anymore. Yeah. You know? Nope. Nope. So it's nope. like, especially on social media. Come on. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like we so were we were talking sites. yeah, we were talking about that earlier that yeah. uh you know whenever you post something on social media or I do post something in social media uh don't think that that's you. Right. Yeah. Well, people take everything you know, I mean, I've got a meme that says basically if you think if you think your life's that important to me, guess what? It's not yeah. because this is not about you. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, it's and people do, they think that because you may have had an argument with somebody and yeah. you said something. Mm -hmm. The biggest one was um, one of my girlfriends was talking about her mother. Mm -hmm. And everyone in my family thought we were talking about my mother. Yeah, yeah. That's... And still to this day insist we were talking about my mother, including my mother. So it was kind of like, I'm just rolling my eyes so far in the back of my head I can see my rear end. I'm like going, you people have nothing better to do. Yeah, exactly, right. Yeah. You know, you know? The, the thing is that Diana is... Uh, I had this, um, I, before I started this, uh, uh, social media shows, I never go to my Facebook. I never go to any social media and, uh, I don't, I just don't want it. I'm against it. My daughter never had any, uh, Facebook. Right. Yeah. Just re she just had it recently. And, um, mm. because I don't believe in social media and then. And then when I started uh, going, um, having a show on other web, other um, station, yeah. then I had to do it if I want more views. Well, so between that and that, Twitter and Instagram yeah, and the, all of it. It's an, it's so that's, that's, that's the start that I am going to social media because it's right. part of our job now. 
but I don't go on my personal page. If you ever, ever see me uh, post anything in my personal page, it's all about motivational. And right. if I say something, that I post something in there and post something, it's not about you. And uh, no. let me, uh, sorry, um, the She's other thing, the, the, <laughs> the other thing, the other thing is um, I do this a lot, okay? And uh, I really honestly didn't intend, my, my intention of, of um, commenting on your post is because you ask for it and I'm just giving my opinion. Yeah. It doesn't, my opinion is not referred to me or referred to you. Right. It's, it's referred in the general the subject. subject. And um, I have one friend who got mad at me and she she really literally told me that oh you must have a really bad experience about this darling no it's not no it's yeah. just an opinion it's an opinion and then and then i have other friends that i love that are really close to me where i when i comment when i say something in there it's all about sarcasm right i just do it for sarcasm to have fun and they know me already being a right. sarcastic person and they still get mad at me. So now, uh, yeah, nice. recently, a few days ago, I promised myself never, ever, ever go at that home button again. It's because I am just the kind of person that, uh, you know, uh, outspoken. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of people can't handle that. And that's the hard part. It's like when I do my blogs and even on my Facebook page, my personal page, I've got followers and I've got, uh, I mean, I'm getting close to the 5,000 mark, I'm over 3,000 right now on people that want to be my friend, which is fine. You know, I'll pretty much accept anybody unless, you know, you start with the private messages yeah. right away. <laughs> then you're going to get links to every one of my shows, to Maria's shows and to whoever else shows I'm supporting. <laughs> so, you know, and that's, what, that's just, just what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, I usually don't talk that much to people and everything is there. It's, you know, it's, I stand by the first amendment of the constitution of the United States of America. You have the right to your free speech, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not gonna delete it. I'm not gonna do any of that. I may not agree with it, but I will respect your opinion. Exactly. Because yeah. you know, we're talking on subjects. We're not talking about you, you personally or me, me personally. Exactly. Exactly. You know? And you have you, you know, like I, I had this on my on the first um, first part of my uh, Let's Talk World um, social media. You need to be responsible of what you put out in there. Like oh, yeah. me. Like me, I don't put out things in there because you know what? I don't want my, I don't want the world know who was about me. I don't want right. them to know about me. And there's some things, you know, I don't mind if they, I don't, I don't care if people know about the radio that I do. I don't care. You know, I actually welcome that. I welcome people that are tuning into the show today and that tune into my sister's shows and all the shows on social media. Thank you. You know, I, I, I love it. I really appreciate you guys giving my family, my Sandy family here, the love and support that they so hard. They work so hard for it and they so deserve. Yes, exactly. You yeah. know, and you know, you see, uh, we uh, we as internet um, uh, broadcaster, yeah, personalities, yeah, we, yeah personalities. Yeah. We uh, we we knows uh, the medium of what we have to talk about and what we right. have to do on on social media. So not like everybody else who just being nosy. By the way, musician loves honey on uh, January eighth. Yep. Uh, uh, it's about <coughs> sorry <coughs> being nosy. <laughs> you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm okay. Bless you. Being nosy. Somebody just actually remember me. <laughs> being nosy. Are you being nosy or being curious? That's our next subject on musician love, honey. It's gonna be That's a really good subject. Yeah, it is a good subject. Because I know a lot of people. I'm not gonna actually uh, blast out their name on social media, but I'm gonna refer on the experience that I have with these people. Uh, they they're yeah. gonna hear it or not, but that's the truth. I I already told them in front of the you know right right off their face, so right. they know. Um, but yeah, being nosy or thing, you know, don't be nosy. Don't go in the Facebook just to actually like um, you know if you go to somebody else's Facebook, right? Go in there with a good intention. Yeah, you know, Facebook was originally created for people to keep in touch, to make new friends, to network your businesses. To share recipes and creative ideas, mm -hmm, yeah. you know, I use and it. give content like what we right. do, yeah. You're right, exactly. I mean, you know, nine uh, eleven. My youngest cousin, my younger cousin Joe Fox, he was working at the World Trade Center, mm -hmm. 
And by the grace of God, he had stayed late the night before, and he was on the subway when that first plane hit. But we could not find him. We didn't know. And I had never met Joe. I actually just met him last month at his grandfather's funeral, who was my godfather and my dad's brother. And we were really worried about him. We could not get in touch with anybody on the East Coast because all the lines were backed up. Yeah. Social media, social networking is what did it. I was able to contact my Uncle Jack. Through, fit, through AOL Messenger, of all things. Wow. AOL, through that messenger, I was able to get a hold of my Uncle Jack to, to know that they were okay in Jersey, to know that my family in Philadelphia was fine, and to know that my cousin Joe, which I knew worked at one of the towers, was not there. He was actually, Joe was able to get a hold of him. He got to some friend's house in lower Manhattan, and then he was able to get to Jersey afterwards to stay with, you know, stay with yeah. his grandfather. You see, you use social media in a good manner. Like what I said, exactly. uh, if you want to actually learn about this person, which is I do all the time, I do my due diligence before I add people in my Facebook. Right. I don't, I don't just add unless it was recommended by a friend. Right. Yeah, and but even then, I'm still a little cautious sometimes. Uh, well, if recommended my friend, like close friend, I'm the, I don't, yeah. I don't call, I don't call everybody friend. Not in Facebook. Those are not my friends. Okay, those are people that I know in social media. See what I'm saying? Yeah, those are, exactly. You need to know who, what, who you call friends. I keep on telling this to everybody. Uh, you know, you cannot just call everybody. But anyways, so as long as my close friends recommend this person, and I met this person in right. in person. Uh, yeah, I would add that. Otherwise, I will actually do my due diligence. I'm going to go on your oh, yeah. profile. It's a good reason. I'm not stalking you because, you know what, I don't have time to stalk people. Right. Like what I told Diana earlier, I said, honey, I don't have time to uh, delete people in my Facebook. Well, she barely has time to get her makeup on. Of course, that's issue. important, right? Uh, I know. I, I watched <laughs> her today. I mean. But I anyways, would... I would like to thank my friend Bettina Steinhauer or B. Bettina. Uh, please go on her page. We're going to be uh, posting the pictures of my clothes in there. You can order it on small, medium, large, or whatever sizes you, ha you have. And, um, you know, it's beautiful. It, you can actually very use it. Very sexy. Yes, it's very sexy. And uh, also all the accessories is by B. Bettina as well, right here. It's beautiful. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you so much. And next week, we're going to have another... Um, clothing it's similar to this yeah similar color and everything so we're gonna have the same clothing well, not next week but on the first the following week because remember we have a christmas party and it's all christmas week yeah but we may, uh, we're not live streaming next week yeah that's true yeah so we are coming back on the first yeah. of january but anyways um anyways um so you were saying that your passion you love being in the camera you love being in the tv so mm -hmm. Oh, TV or oh, radio, I meant. I do. It's a lot so, of fun. It took time to get the courage to really talk normally uh -huh. and not be so nervous about it. Yeah. But once you once you get down and it's I social still, media, I know, and I still mess up. I mean, I'll start to say something, I'll start, I'll start blah, 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 blah. oh yeah, okay, that was a joke. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just play it I love that. On, you know? I love the the way you play around because you know what? Uh, when I started uh, doing this, yeah, I the only words that I have is well, we have like. Uh, five five of us actually as the host right. we call it the view of las vegas that'd be fun yeah so um i am always in the middle because the main host always loves me posing in the camera and so yeah, she yeah. always put me in the middle right oh, yeah yeah so uh, i remember one uh one of the video where i was like doing this in the camera and they're all discussing the topic they're talking right and we thought we have a picture of that and i'm just like she's doing the little ball yeah <laughs> The queen wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, honestly, on that show, for the first three months, all things that I said was, where, I, yes, I agree. Oh, no. That's right. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think those are the words that I said for the first three months because I cannot talk. Yeah, it was like the first couple of shows I even did with Woody and Ferris. It was like, they're like, here's the mic. And I'm like, uh, what do I say? And Ferris is like, uh, the mic's on. I said, yeah, I know, but what do I say? <laughs> you know? And he's like, oh, God. It's like, Dave's not here, dude. No teaching chunk today. Yeah. You know? 
like what you said oh you just play around when you get mistaken now yeah. i am so good on doing that like oh my god i forgot the word you know like what i did exactly. earlier yeah so yeah, we're like, in social media perfect yeah we are not you know we're not in cnn yeah we're not yeah. in, we're, we're not in you, when you look at shows like the view i'm sure it's all, all scripted because nobody messes up yeah it's okay. too perfect yes exactly. it's like perfection is not a good show anyway yeah no yeah yeah we, we want to have fun this is social media darling and a lot of people are already doing Facebook live it's not oh, even yeah. professional and I do tons of Facebook live yeah, right now. exactly so I even got a horny mic from County Cars drunk one night yeah it's not bad you know you know the other thing that one of my friends feed back to me is uh, I love I love holding my hair uh, yeah, yeah I, I love doing this I used to hair. do it when my hair was long I just used to play with it a and, lot and she was like stop doing that on your hair you have but you anyway. gotta be you if you're yeah. gonna be doing this you have to be you exactly you have to be who you are exactly I mean right now like um, the kids and I are all split up so they're living in a house with his mother and her friends mm -hmm. and I'm back at my mom's and all of our stuff is in storage oh. including all my clothes so all my leathers are in storage all my hats are in oh, storage I would, like, I would love to see you in the storage do you ride bike uh, motorcycle or yeah. motorcycle not anymore but it used to be oh big time I used to ride all the time I used to ride motorcycles I used to ride horses I did demolition I derbies growing up oh my so God. I get out there and wreck cars for fun yeah it was fun I, I, like I tried surfing but it did kind of freak me out a little bit because in the Half Moon Bay area Mavericks is very common to have large waves on a bad day they're probably about 20 feet mm -hmm. so when you go like eight you know four miles north of there little beach called Montero Beach was a little less evasive a mile north, a mile south was Surfers Beach, which was, you know, most of the time was very, very unevasive. So, you know, I would get out there. I would do more body surfing and stuff because I could never. I only oh, I love board. body surfing. I only got to stand That's up beautiful. three times. I only stood up like three times on the board, but it was fun. It was an adrenaline rush. So I see where everybody gets that. It's a blast. But, yeah, I've done all kinds of crazy things. That's yeah. why my body is so bent up and messed up. Yeah, and we do a lot of body surfing in Hawaii. It's, it's fun. A fun. It's really fun. Yeah, shout out to Hawaii, eh, by the way. But anyway, yeah, Hawaii, yeah. yeah I know, right? So no, body surfing, Hawaii. so you do all those things. Yeah, I've tried a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's amazing. That's that's so that's a fun. talent right there. The only thing I haven't done yet is um, driven NASCAR, which is probably I'm a little too old for that now. So I don't have a muscle. Oh, I'm a NASCAR driver. Oh, good lord! On my own. <laughs> I mean, we made it. My brother Chuck and I make the Deuce to Hazard look like a bunch of babies. Huh? <laughs> We used to do, we used to, stunts like that were just nothing for us. Yeah. I mean, we were so bad that when we moved to San Francisco, when you get closer to downtown, you know, the streets go like this. Oh, yeah. So it's like if you got a clutch and you're on that hill, you are you burn out your clutches faster in the city because you're trying to keep it even so you don't roll back and you can get forward when you're ready to go. But we used to try and jump from street top to street top. We used to try that. We had a road called Roller Coaster Road that we used to go jump, I mean, literally race the four bys on. Oh, my. Down at um, the back of Pillar Point Harbor, what we called Lower Point, or some of the kids call it Turkey Overflow. Mm -hmm. We used to go rushing those, those, just the little tiny hills. But we would go, if you pull up um, the back picture of Mavericks, mm -hmm. where the spectators can watch from the top of the cliff, my brother and I used to come up the side of that cliff on the trucks. Oh, you and know you know what I, I really want to do, uh, Diana, is uh, dirt bike riding that's what i want oh, to do oh it's so much fun yeah i am i'm scared uh, but i i'm scared with bikes with motorbikes but just get your little i 70. can get over it yeah. you can just get your little 70 yeah. little yamaha 70 mm -hmm. and boom i mean my dad started us off on a honda 50 when i was God, still in grade school hi bettina bettina just join us hi bettina thank you so much for the dress please follow b bettina at facebook and on our website, uh, it's um, socialmediashows.com slash bbettina. Yeah, we need to get some plus sizes on that girl. Oh, yes. And by the way, Bettina, uh, she was uh, actually mentioning earlier about our plus sizes um, clothing. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to do that. But anyways, um, uh, you were in our show, Musician Love, Sunny. Yes, I know. I loved it. I had so much fun with you and Savan. Thank you. So, what do you think about uh, the show and everything? I love it. It's so cute. It's so much fun. I mean, we had a blast. Mm -hmm. But it's fun when you can be yourself. Yeah. Oh, you were you were telling me earlier about Kevon. Uh, you can say it. What you and you and him today? No. <laughs> You're no, so no, cute no, together. Seriously. Yeah. There you go. That oh, that, one. <laughs> that that one. You said. Uh, you said. Um, 
you have you said something else too because he doesn't want to admit that. No, I'm just Nobody kidding, Kevon. I don't want to blast you up on my show. Oh, but is he anyway. there, Kevon? No, no, no. He, I that? think he's oh. performing probably. Uh, but anyway, oh, yeah, I gotta go see him play. I mean, he's got a great voice. Yes, just he, he's someplace. He is playing someplace tonight. I forgot. Yeah, I don't track him, so we'll have to go look on his Facebook. Yeah, let's oh, talk him on his Facebook. Okay, yeah, I know, right? That's the only thing. The, that's the only people I stalk on Facebook. My people of yeah. social media shows, <laughs> because I have to support them. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why I stalk them. Oh, well, we gotta support each other. Yeah, exactly. But anyways, so you are in a radio station called Caffeine Radio, mm -hmm. and your shows uh, is uh, what's on your Tuesdays, schedule? On Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays from noon until two, mm -hmm. and that specific standard time. And I just pretty much do a little mixture of you know classic rock and. Throw some blues in there. I threw a couple of smooth jazz in the other day. People seem to like it. But I bring, I mean, I'll play stuff from the 1950s up to the 1990s. Oh. And more, more up to the Who's 80s. your favorite um, singer? Jerry Lee Lewis. Who's that? You ever heard Great Balls of Fire? No. Okay, um, let's do another. Dean Martin's another one. I think I heard Dean Martin. Dean Martin, part of the Rat Pack, the old crooners. I actually have a picture of Dean that sits on my nightstand, and that's in storage. <laughs> You we should. are going to storage tomorrow. Start going through things, Yay. moving things to another storage, and eventually by the by the beginning of the summer, I should be moving into the the house with the kids and his mother. So that'll be the mother in law. So it'll be a lot, a lot better. I'll just be a little bit further from everything that I like over here. Where are you guys moving to? It's gonna be like right off the ninety five into now. So by the way, where do you do your radio station? Is it in your house? Or? Yeah, I do it in my bedroom. Everybody's in bed with me. Oh, Twice nice, a week. beautiful. That's a, that's. The power of internet. Yeah, and gentlemen. I mean, and you can't see me, but like, you can just picture me in my little, my grandmother's, my grandmother's antique bedroom set. Mm -hmm. So you can just picture me in my schnauzer, my little princess. We're sitting there on the bed with the laptop on there, and we're just going away, plugging away, doing the radio show. And we're in our, I'm in my pajamas and my fuzzy slippers. We should actually, we should actually live stream you while you're doing your radio station. You're doing your radio, and then we, we, I live stream you right there. Yeah, we could do that. That would be great. Well, yeah, what's we that coming up soon, right? Yeah, we can. Well, we can probably do it from here because. Oh yeah. House. Yeah, I can bring my laptop. What time? Is, what time every Tuesday do you live stream? At noon. Noon. Oh, perfect. Because I don't have shows for that time. Well, we what's at what's uh or uh, wait for that to happen in the future. Yeah, you know, once the first of the year hits and everything calms down from the holidays and oh my god, everybody's done with that New Year's Day, the New Year's Day sales. Mm -hmm. and, all that other good stuff and everything comes down and I don't get shop. back on even keel. Oh, I do. <laughs> I don't I'm the queen of shopping. Six dollars, baby. Six dollars for this really Shh. beautiful sweater. Oh, that is 120. Shh. No, six dollars <laughs> at Beauty's discount. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, um, well, uh, you know, uh, we were, he, she's my sister now. Yep. And uh, we were collaborating over a lot of things and we're probably going to have a uh, a show for her in the future with social media shows. Yeah, I'm hoping we can do maybe like a bring the music back. Ooh, you know um, that get would the, be great. Showcase local artists with their videos and let them come in and be part of the That's show. That's why we do at Musician Lab Sunny. And but you can do that too. You know what I mean? Actually, we'll play their videos though. Oh, okay. we'll actually play like like the old MTV was back in the '80s when the M meant music. Not a bunch of morons. We had we had shows. actually a future plan, but we're not gonna say it online. Remember. That. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a really good future for and 2019. I, yeah, of course. So my first, my, within one of my first shows, I do have a very special guest that I know will back me up. So I'm going to blast it out now. Jesse Camp. Jesse Camp. You will what? be getting a phone call from your Danica Patrick of Vegas, baby. Yes, Danica Patrick. And we, we want him on she this show. She doesn't know Danica Patrick is, do I don't know. She's a race car driver. Oh, well, well, last in, in August we had an Alice Cooper pre party. Uh -huh. Alice Cooper, of course, being one of the biggest rock musicians in history, uh -huh. definitely well known not only for his music but for his theatrical theatrical performances on stage. Theatrical. Yeah, he makes a full production. Is that how you shows. pronounce it, right? No, theatrical. I'm, theatrical. Yeah. Okay. So I messed up for the first time. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not practicing. That's what I did. <laughs> because and I had met. Well, I had met Jesse last year uh -huh. at the one we had at the SLS at uh -huh. where the old Sahara used to be. And this year, we kind of had a little bit of a time problem, mm -hmm. and my friend, Valerie, she called me and said, they need you to pick Jesse Camp up from the airport. Now, anybody who doesn't really realize who Jesse Camp is, we're going to go back to 1990 MTV, 
when they had Who Wants to Be a VJ contest, and Jesse won that contest. Oh. So he was a VJ on MTV from uh, 1990 until I think 98 or 99. And he's just a doll. He's so cute and so sweet, and he's just so much fun. Aww. Well, first off, he disappeared. Oh. He pulled a disappearing act. We actually, his sister had put a missing persons report out on him. Mm -hmm. And when we finally got in touch with him, they finally found him. It was like a week prior to the Alice Cooper pre-party at the Count's Van. Mm -hmm. And I get the phone call from Val the day, that, the day of the event, the day we're having this pre-party. Valerie calls me and says, I need you to go to the airport and get Jesse. I said, okay. Wow. So she told me the flight was coming in at like 9 o'clock. So here I am at like, you know, so I'm just picking him up. Mm -hmm. So here I am at 8.20. I'm going to get gas. She goes, oh, his, his flight lands at 8.30. I'm like, oh, shit. So here I am. I'm getting gas and I'm rushing to the airport. I'm, d I'm heading down the 15 to the, I get the 215 cutoff. And she texts me. She says, oh, his flight's not coming in until 9.20. I'm like, so I get there. Yeah, uh -huh. His flight kept getting delayed and delayed. And uh -huh. delayed. So he lands about 5 minutes to 10. Uh -huh. Now he's going to be on stage at 10.30. Uh -huh. From McCarran Airport to Sahara and Rainbow uh -huh. is not an easy 20-minute drive at all. It's like more like a half hour plus. So when was this? Oh, this was back in August. In August last year? This this last summer. Yeah. Oh, this this yeah. This last summer. Oh wow! And so um, he finally comes off the escalators. I'm looking for him. He's looking for me. We finally boom. I'm like, you're leaving your luggage here. They'll they'll hold it. We gotta go. You gotta be on stage in like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So of course you gotta run through the we're running through the airport. We look kind of like that second scene, you know, the Home Alone where they miss the, they're almost missing their flight. You know, the two of us were running through the airport. Then we gotta wait because the taxi cabs are coming through and they got the they got the crosswalk shut. So we're sitting here going, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Now it's like so. Did you guys get in get into the oh, on time? Yeah. I did a buck. I I had my I had the speedometer on my old truck. He had to change in my truck <laughs> to go on stage for the event. <laughs> we made it within three minutes of him having to go on stage. He almost got canceled. Oh my god! But we made it within three minutes. That's amazing. Valerie's blowing up my phone. Well, that's why he calls me the Danica Patrick. And there yeah. So yeah, can, can can I? Who is who is the is uh, the other person? Danica? No. Oh, uh, Danica Patrick. She's a race car driver. He was comparing me to her. Oh, I see. Got because you. it's like you know, we got there and then we did a we did a Facebook live mm -hmm. with um, Eric Stacy, the Jet Boys. Well, what, what is the what what is the performer performer name that you pick up on in the airport? Jesse Camp. Jesse Camp. There you go. Jesse Camp, Camp from MTV. Yeah. It was a blast, but we became really good friends over that little stint. And so that's he. It was so funny. So you're gonna you're gonna introduce me to him over the um, social media? Oh yeah, I'm gonna drag Jesse in somewhere along the way. He's my buddy. I got him on Instagram. The other, I got him on Instagram about a month ago. It's like, hey, you know, when the fires were hitting California, it's like, are you okay? Are you safe? And he writes, he writes back on his Instagram. He goes, God, I miss and love you, Val and Chris. I'm like, yeah, well, we all love and miss you too. Get back to Vegas, baby. Yes. Yeah, so is he coming back? He, I don't think he'll come back to live, but no, I mean, no, to perform because I want to have him on this chair. Oh yeah, I'll get him here one way or another. I will bug him, Jesse. We are picking you up from the airport. Yeah, we're picking you up, Jesse Camp. We'll pick it, we'll pick you up in the airport and sit here and then you can go wherever you want to do it. And it is very special, you know, because Val included me on this. She trusted me enough to get that done. And she and Valerie, that's the other person that I'm trying to yeah, remember. Uh, you won't get her on here. I can tell Why? You. I wouldn't even be able to get her on here. Why? She just doesn't do those Hi, things. Hi Valerie. She doesn't do those things. I mean, she got embarrassed when Jesse was in Washington, who's in the Seattle area, and he had a radio station call her. <laughs> and she didn't know what to say. No, you know, she's, I, I'm really good at uh, you know moderating. But she's she's really she's I'm an awesome Valerie, girl. Valerie, I'm very good in moderating. You're gonna actually. Oh, she's an awesome girl. She's had an awesome life. I mean, she was friends with a uh, you know Lenny Kilmeister of Motorhead, mm -hmm. which a lot of people really wanted to get close to him because he was just. I can call her right now. <laughs> she probably won't answer the phone. I don't know where she is right now. If she's well, jetting um, back yeah, off to you, New York to go honey, to a venue, honey, or... you have to trust your sister. I know. Yeah, you have to trust her. But anyways, we're getting to off tangent, me. and we are I actually know. going over time here. But uh, you know what? Thank you so much, Miss Diana. I love you, too. Uh, thank you so much for the viewers. Up next is our The James Swanson Show, where it's everybody's favorite, James Swanson Show. And after James Swanson Show, we're going to come back with Let's Talk World at 7 p.m. with Robert Chandler the second.
I think it's the second. I hope I didn't miss that. But Mr. Robert Chandler, he is actually a jack of all trades here in yes. Vegas. And he doesn't want to be called by title because he doesn't, he just don't believe that. Because, He's who he is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if uh, I heard him say earlier that if you actually give a title to yourself, you are limiting, limiting yourself to what else you can do. Right. I love that. Well, yeah. We'll see you guys uh, on, at uh, 7 o'clock with Let's Talk World. And J the James Swanson Show is right after this show. Thank you so much, viewers. Please stay tuned for the upcoming shows. Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas.